Good morning. Or Saturday morning, we are, let me see now, what are we? The 29th of October. I'm just after feeding these their silage. Um, I give them two trailer loads. There's the quad there and the trailer on the back. I give them two trailer loads of that. But I have given them two trailer loads of that. I'm getting about four trailers out of one round bay of silage. So I'm at the back of a ditch here now. I'm trying to stay away from the breeze. Uh, it's been breezy and it's lots. It's raining lots. We've, I'm kind of having a break in between the showers here now at the minute. We had a massive flood again this morning. Huge flood yesterday. But anyhow, besides all that, I was asked um, online here uh, about my grazing uh, system and why I feed the silage or what way I feed the silage. Well, basically, if I explain it, I suppose, if I explain my 12 month system, it might make a better bit of sense. But basically, in the spring flush, when grass is growing like hell, I will try and rush these cows around the whole lot of the grazing field, uh, fields, uh, the whole farm. I'll try and do it in 30 days. And if I can't do it in 30 days, I'll skip a few fields and I'll get back to the start as soon as I see the first field I started on uh, being ready. I call that the priority paddock. That's what I did this year. And I will skip a few problem fields um, and let them overgrow completely that I'll get on the second rotation. Uh, I call them the experimental field. So for me to get around the whole farm in 30 days, I have to uh, skip a few fields and I'll purposely skip ones that I feel could do with uh, a, that bit of a longer rest or if it gets over mature, it's easier to knock in the second round. So that's how I get around the whole farm in 30 days during the spring flush and summer growing season. So as the grass starts to slow down, as we know, as I said the last time in the video, uh, the grass kind of never really comes to a complete halt here in Ireland. But it does slow away down. But um, what I do when the grass starts to slow down is I can stretch out. I have enough with the amount of cattle I have and with the amount of land I have access to, I can stretch out a full rotation to around 70 days on grass only. So if I wanted to feed these cattle on grass only, I could stretch it out to 70 days without uh, without their uh, condition or suffering or without them uh, going hungry or giving out to me too much. So, um, so that's the kind of stocking rate I'm at. I can feed these cattle with zero growth for 70 days. So why am I doing that now? Well basically I never want the cattle to ever run out of grass. So let's say for instance if I only had 30 days grass left but I needed 90 days grass what I would do is I would feed them grass for one day, move them, give them two days silage and grass and the next day. So that would give me three days one grass, two silage, that would give me 90 days. So if I only had 30 days left, I would give one day every three days to increase that to 90 days. So that's what I'm at here now at the minute. So I have a kind of a 70 day rotation uh, at the max. I think that's the max. But we could jump a few fields and some fields could get bigger rest. But 70 days using it all up. So if I give one day silage alongside them 70 days, that's 140 days. That's massive when it comes to winter grazing. And it's all about winter grazing. I don't really mind or care about spring or summer because everyone has grass in spring or summer and summer. Um, it's uh, This is the time where you go broke through the winter. So I have a small enough holding the land I have access to is small enough. We've only the few cattle, so I buy in all my silage. That acts as my fertility as well. So as I'm going through the fields, having it down for one day, uh, the second day then is me adding my fertility to that area. Um, they also then tend to, if you notice here now, they've them tips of the rushes all it. So I don't mind rushes at all. Rushes serve a major purpose for me 
So I like the fact that I have rushes there. They act as shelter, they act as feed in the winter time. The green ones, not them old brown ones. Here's the wind again, let me pull in tight. Uh, so yeah, I'm not worried about rushes at all. In fact, they're a benefit. I can feed my silage down on top. I just fork it out the back of that trailer, down on top of uh, clumps of it. The cattle will stand around, they'll eat it. Whatever's left will sweeten the rushes for the coming year. And they'll dung around it, which will also add fertility and sweeten the area. So eventually it'll improve, but the rushes will always be there. So where was I anyhow? So that is how I graze. So at the minute I'm going one day grass, one day silage. Give or take a half a day. And uh, on the next rotation it'll probably be uh, two days silage, one day's grass. But they'll always, always, always have grass. I might actually even... They're going in here now next. This evening I'm going to put them in there. I'll give them a small little area in there. Enough to do them for 24 hours. And I'll uh, give them silage the day after then. So, uh, that's to carry on. I can't think of anything else, can I? That would explain it better. But yeah, but this is what the grass looks like now, having them on it for the last day and a half. They don't eat the mouldy stuff. So that will freshen. That will freshen now by the time I come back to it again. But the best of it has been taken. The best of, is, of it has been taken. Now, I notice a couple of the calves here are starting to do a little bit of a cough. I'm going to make a video soon enough about what I'm going to do there. I'm not going to dose, but I have I have uh, something up the sleeves. I'll talk about it again. But that's the story with the cattle. That dung has firmed up. And uh, they have nice hair coats on them now. They're not worried one bit about the floods of rain we're getting, and I mean we are getting floods. And this ground is holding them up absolutely perfect. So I'm very pleased with that. There's perfect dung there now. That's the kind of dung I like. I like good... <laughs> I like a good shite and uh, no coughs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I look for. So basically, look... I've ranted on enough now. We're Saturday the 29th of October. The short horn sales are online down in Kilfenora today in Clare. I'm going to watch that. My mother's coming up this evening with my sister. And we're going to have a bit of a Kaylee at the house. So that's the situation today. I hope this now is not windy. I'll post it. Um, and I hope it explains what I'm at. So I want to have grass. 12 months of the year and so do these cattle more than me so for now i'll say good luck and goodbye